Hey everybody, welcome to Passionate About Music Education and I'm Rachel Hardman and today we're going to explore the wonders of general music teaching and that's for middle school and high school and if you've never done that before, you're brand new to the profession or you have been a band director or a choral director and been asked to change your programme this year, don't be alarmed, don't be frightened, it is actually a really rewarding and really awesome to teach general music. The first reason is you are not restricted to syllabuses. Yes, you might have your government criteria like national curriculum, but in general, there is a lot of freedom within it in terms of what you can teach. So if you're passionate about band music and you're, teaching, and you're a band director, of course you can bring all of that skill into your projects. You are not following a GCSE specification which However brilliant GCSE music is, it is very restrictive in certain ways and it doesn't suit every type of student and doesn't suit every type of instrument. It's still very much a traditional instrument course. So the freedom that you get with creating your own curriculum and teaching general music is that you can specifically create courses that are for your students and for your department and for your your own skill set that you can share with the students. What I also love about general music teaching is that it's a chance to focus on music appreciation, to really expand the students' knowledge of music and really expose them to all sorts of music, whether it's local music, whether it's world music, whether it's music, classical music from the Baroque period onwards, or whether it's pop and jazz, or whether it's... Um, the blues, whether it's specific choral music that you wanted to do, operas, musical theatre, whether you wanted to bring in your drum line, your percussion ensembles, chamber music. There's so much scope there for you to really expand the experiences for your music students. And if you don't show them all these different types of music and if you don't encourage them to listen to music beyond their home, then how will they know about all the amazing music that exists? It is our responsibility to encourage students to be lifelong learners of music and to have an appreciation for music. The third reason I love teaching general music is because you can really create modules that allow for performing and composing, for listening, for watching amazing YouTube videos and inspiration, and also for that discussion work and for that historical context. So I remember teaching my students um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, we were talking about Mozart, and we were talking about what it would have been like for Mozart to live in the 1700s. And they were just fascinated by the history of it. So don't underestimate how, how keen students are to, to learn more about the context of why music was created and when it was created and what that would have looked like. The fourth reason I really love teaching general music is because I can create a course that is really specific for my students. So if I have a really high ability group with that play lots of instruments, then I can tailor the course to really encourage them to use their music skills, to encourage them to do a lot more performance work, ensemble work, bring in their cellos or bring in their violins or bring in their clarinets and use them in the classroom. And that also goes for students where you want to encourage them to use different types of instruments and your resources. So you might do a topic on keyboards, you might do a topic on um, percussion or untuned percussion or steel pans or com combine them all together. So there is a real flexibility in what you can teach and that's fantastic because you're not necessarily trying to get them to be an amazing performer. So of course we'd love them all to learn instruments and continue to be you know, our high performers. But the exploring the musical instruments and exploring sound creation and just enjoying being creative is really, really important. And I think that's a gift we give the students to not be afraid of experimenting, trying out sounds on the keyboards, exploring all those different voices. What can you do? Why do we have all of these voices? How do we use them? And I think my really favourite part about teaching general music is that you can actually really relate it to A, the student's knowledge, that real world experience. You can really encourage students to think about how they could go and have a career in music. You don't have just to play an instrument, an orchestra. There are so many different avenues for music and music making. And we know watching YouTube stars and your colleagues and stuff, 
there are so many different ways that we are making music now. Having to be more entrepreneurial about how we make music and how we make a living out of music. So encouraging students to think outside of the box is really fantastic. And also explaining how music is used. You know, I, m one of my favorite topics is film music because you can talk about how they synchronize music, how it's recorded, how, how the music impacts the film and the motions within it. Another one that I like to do is musical theater and the career of um, musical theatre artists and what it's like to work in musical theatre and the fact that they don't just have to do jobs like be the main actor behind the scenes roles you know the stage managers the set design and if I'm not giving those opportunities to students and I'm not talking about the career opportunities then how will they know how brilliant the arts are and how will they have a career in the arts and this is why I love teaching general music you're not restricted necessarily to a specific syllabus that maybe doesn't suit your students you can encourage your students to perform, to compose, to listen, to discuss about work. It's a chance for music appreciation, world music, local music. It's a chance to have a freedom to create a course that's specific for the students in your school and specific for the instruments that you have available to you within your school. And also, the most important thing is you can really make music real world learning for them and you can really relate it to what they understand and to really give them an opportunity to understand how music works in the real world and what they could do if they wanted to career in music in some shape or form or even in the performing arts so don't be afraid of general music it is an amazing way of sharing your passion for music with students you'll be surprised at how much they love it and i hope this video has been helpful There'll be more videos like this coming up, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, keep following, keep liking, commenting, and I will see you soon. I'm Rachel Hardman, and this is Passionate About Music Education.